Construction on the new Everton Stadium began over three years ago and the project is now nearing completion with the stadium expected to be ready for the 2025-2026 season. After 133 years at Goodison Park, the first purpose-built football ground in England, Everton will relocate to their new 52,000 capacity stadium for the 2025-2026 season and ahead of their historic final campaign at their home since 1892. Interim Chief Executive Colin Chong explained to supporters how the cost of the development by the banks of the Mersey had now been taken care of with a financial contribution from the Friedkin Group, despite their withdrawal from exclusivity talks over a potential takeover. Chong, who is also the club's Chief Stadium Development Officer, said, I know there has been a lot of talk about the future ownership of the club. While the club and the Friedkin Group jointly confirmed that we would not be progressing with their potential takeover, our relationship is still a positive one, and their £200 million loan helped us to finalise our stadium funding. Meanwhile, although the first team will not be moving in for another 12 months, Chong revealed that construction work at Bramley Moor Dock remains on track by the end of 2024. He said, as the season progresses, focus will naturally switch to our new home on the banks of the Royal Blue Mersey, and I'm delighted the construction phase on our new stadium is now nearing completion, with work concentrating on the many concourses, internal spaces and public realms. Ultimately, we want Everton Stadium to become a 365-day-a-year destination, a venue that can attract the very best concerts, conferences and events, including Euro 2028 matches. That is a vision we will deliver over the coming years, but our only priority right now is ensuring that we get this stadium right for Evertonians in August 2025. Subscribe now and be a part of our stadium-loving family. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. And be the first to explore the secrets, stories and history behind these colossal structures.